of you, my name is Julian Ragma from BSN1B and this is my return demonstration in positioning the patient. So before positioning the patient, wash and sanitize your hands properly and make sure to introduce yourself first and inform your patient about what will you do. Dorsal or supine position is used for general examination or physical assessment. Supine position support is a small pillow placed under the head and lumbar curvature. We can also use two pillows to support our arms, hand rolls for our hands, and heels must be protected from pressure by using a pillow or ankle roll. Prevent prolonged plantar flexion and stretch injury of the feet by placing a padded footboard. Prone position is the only bed position that allows full extension of the hip and knee joints. It also helps to prevent flexion contractures of hips and knees. To support the patient lying in prone, place a pillow under the head, small pillow or towel roll under the abdomen, small pillow to support the arm, towel rolls under the knee, and pillow under the leg to prevent plantar flexion. Lateral position helps relieve pressure on the sacrum and heels, especially for people who sit or are confined to bed rest in supine and polar position. To correctly position the patient in lateral position, use of support pillows are needed. Put pillow behind patient's back, place another pillow in front to support the upper arm, and the last pillow should be place between the patient's knees. Sims position or semi-prone position is when the patient assumes a posture halfway between the lateral and prone positions. To support the proper body alignment in Sims position, place a pillow underneath the patient's head and under the upper arm to prevent internal rotation and place another pillow between the patient's legs. Bowler's position, also known as semi-seating positions, is used for patients who have difficulty breathing because in this position, gravity pulls the diaphragm downward allowing greater chest and lung expansion. To support Bowler's position, place pillow behind the patient and make sure it is elevated 45 to 60 degrees. Trendelenburg's position is used to provide postural drainage of the basal lung lobes. It involves lowering the head of the bed and raising the foot of the bed of the patient. can be in lateral or prone position. In prone knee chest position, the patient kneels at the table and lower shoulders onto the table so chest and face rest on the table. Prone knee chest position can be embarrassing for some patients. Or top naik or tripod position, place the patient in a sitting position or on the side of the bed with an over bed table in front to lean on, and several pillows on the table to rest on.
Cytotomy position is commonly used for vaginal examinations and childbirth. The patient is on their back with hips and knees flexed and tights apart. The dorsal recumbent position is when the patient lies on their back with their knees bent up in an outward position. This position allows to examine the head, neck, anterior thorax, lungs, breast, axillae, and heart.